Fritz Henley had a characteristic style as a photographer. He utilized the classic twin lens Rolofex camera, and his near exclusive use of the camera distinguished him from other photographers of the time and earned him the nickname of Mr. Rolly. Unrestricted by popular trends, Henley's characteristic square format images provided him with the technical proficiency which allowed for detailed, sharp, and vivid images. He totally believed in the square format for composition. He just believed aesthetically it was the most beautiful and the size of the negative. You know, he could print just incredible images from that versus 35. And it was in existence before 35. So, um, and I think he really, I know, he often said he'd love to be able to see what he was composing in the ground glass. You know, he rarely shot like that. Even when he was doing portraiture, it was looking, looking down. Henley's uniqueness as a photographer carried over to his techniques. His precision and attention to detail, coupled with his unique artistry and timing, allowed him to create his images with just a single shot. His main and only instruction I've ever got from him was don't overshoot. And basically, and what he went on to say was just like, to try to see what you want and be in the moment with it. If the composition wasn't there visually in his lens, he, he, just, he wouldn't take it. Henley's expertise with the photographic medium also afforded him a tremendous versatility with all parameters of the art. Depending upon the demands of the assignment and the remarkable breadth of his personal vision, Henley would often alternate between the use of both black and white and color films in nearly every project. He always photographed one camera with color, the other camera black and white all the time. All over Europe he did the same thing. Yeah, so he always had two cameras around his head. Always. Sometimes three. Henley once said, One thing an artist can do in this world is to remind people that there is so much beauty that you only have to see it. Ultimately, Henley's simple manner of finding beauty in even the most unexpected places is amplified through the artistry in his individual exposures. He looked for beauty in destruction and trash sometimes, although not so much. I mean, it wasn't like he was looking just focused on that at all. But, I mean, beauty was really important to him. And um, that's just who he was. As an artist, you know, he could have been doing anything and it would have been that theme. He wouldn't have had to have been a photographer. You know, it was about just showing the most high parts of life.